China's concept Martian forest city. Matt Damon sure could have used one of these concept Mars homes in 2015's The Martian. The concept from the Chinese space agency, Tongji University, and Stefano Boeri Architects would see a spaceship ferry a colony of massive pods containing forest cities from Earth toward Mars. Once the pods have touched down on the red planet, in Habitat reports they would use ecosystemic seeds to take root. This colony of forest city giant pods, dubbed New Shanghai, would also reportedly contain an infrastructure and an Earth-like atmosphere. Would you like to live in New Shanghai? The race is on. Mission complete. A team of scientists have finally returned to civilization after completing a NASA-funded isolation experiment to simulate life on Mars. The six-person High Seas Mission 5 crew lived in a dome on the Mars-like landscape of Hawaii's Mauna Loa volcano for eight months. The dome was equipped with a kitchen, bathroom, common area, and six individual bedrooms. Though not confined to the inside, the crew were required to don spacesuits whenever they went outside. While in the habitat, the crew conducted scientific research, equipment testing, and resource tracking. They also had to learn to prepare food using dehydrated and shelf-stable ingredients. Communication with the outside were subject to a delay of 20 minutes, the same amount of time it takes for signals to reach Mars from Earth. To better understand the psychological impacts of a long-term space mission, they were fitted with sensors that gauged their moods and monitored interactions with other members. The mission is the fifth in a series of six studies designed to help NASA select crews that can do well on an expedition to the Red Planet. The sixth and final High Seas mission will also last for eight months and is slated to begin in January of 2018. Even in space, you have to eat your greens. NASA hopes its astronauts will be able to keep up their veggie intake on future missions to the Moon or Mars, thanks to a greenhouse project it's working on with the University of Arizona. The prototype lunar greenhouse is cylindrical, measuring 18 feet in length and more than 8 feet in diameter. The garden uses a hydroponic system, in which water enriched with nutrient salts flows continuously through the roots of the plants. Carbon dioxide exhaled by astronauts can be absorbed by the plants. In return, the plants produce oxygen for the astronauts through photosynthesis. The exchange forms a bioregenerative life support system. NASA's Veggie Plant Growth System was the first fresh food growth experiment on the International Space Station. The space agency hopes to provide a more sustainable approach to long-term exploration on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Scientists may have discovered water at Mars' equator. If you're looking for another reason to move to Mars, here you go. After re-examining old satellite data from 2002 to 2009 by Mars Odyssey's neutron spectrometer, scientists may have discovered ice around Mars' equator. The neutron spectrometer can't directly detect water, but by measuring neutrons, it can detect hydrogen signature, which could mark the presence of water or other hydrogen-bearing substances. Researchers discovered an unexpected amount of hydrogen around the equator by reducing the blurred, or noise, in Odyssey's data using image reconstruction techniques used for other spacecraft and for medicine. This improved the spatial resolution of the images to 180 miles from the previous resolution of 320 miles. Having water on Mars could mean that future human missions wouldn't need to bring water with them for drinking, cooling equipment, or watering plants, thus reducing the number of resources needed for transport. Scientists say more research needs to be done and more evidence collected to determine if the signature is actually from water ice. NASA may have found a way to bring water back to Mars. NASA's scientists think it's possible to restore Mars's oceans by creating an artificial magnetic field that sits in front of the planet. Scientists say it is possible to place an inflatable structure that generates a magnetic dipole field at the Mars L1 Lagrange point. This would form an artificial magnetic shield to protect the planet from solar wind and radiation. Under this protection, the Martian atmosphere could become thick enough to melt carbon dioxide ice at the northern pole. In time, the atmosphere could spark a greenhouse gas effect that could restore some of Mars's oceans. Scientists said if the Martian atmosphere could be greatly enhanced over the next few decades, it would help pave the way for colonization on Mars, 